Crab, the crab, the crab, the crab, the crab, the crab, and stress. Alright, welcome back to Trash Crab Stevens Oblivion Edition. We're playing the classic game by Microsoft.com. Yeah, it was released um, publicly in 1999, but uh, only came out in 14, 13, 2002. Four, 73. Oh, look, this is a brace of goblins. God, watch out. They're fucking hitting you with swords. I can't see shit. This is very dark. I hope it looks... Well, it uh, looks completely black on the screen that I'm looking at. Ah, uh, well, that <laughs> is great. Uh, viewers at home, go fuck yourself. Yeah, eat a dick. You pieces of shit. I'm sick of your complaints. We give you free content from our own time. <laughs> and you're all like, I can't see you. The screen's too dark. It takes me nine years to edit all these videos up. We filmed this in 1999. Oh... <laughs> And then we sat on it for five years. <laughs> Fucking filmed it during the Cold War. Oh. <laughs> Which, as we established earlier, involved Barack Obama in 99. <laughs> and if you don't get that, go back and watch the previous watch episode. The previous episode. As we said earlier, you got to watch them in order. It's good. But if you didn't see the episode where we said you had to watch them in order because you weren't watching them in order, you wouldn't have known that. You know, just go back. And just click number one, and then watch number two. Then you know that's why we put the numbers on them. Uh, useful tip: if you were playing this for the first time, you should save here so that you can always readjust your face and your character. Well, there you go. Do you want to have a save, or you're not going to save it? Well, I'm never going to readjust this. <laughs> or you, you just gave advice and you didn't do it. Well, that's because we don't really care about this. I do. We're doing it. Maybe want to go back in nine years and want to play this again. Oh, well, surely, no. No, if anything, you should go back and play Morrowind again. I've never played Morrowind. Uh, visual gag, Morrowind is a vastly superior game to Oblivion and Skyrim. Explain to me why. Uh, the storyline is much better, the world is much better. It doesn't hold your hand as much. Ah, okay, so... Is it like this, though? Is it, I thought it was like a... Like a DOS game. No, it's not a DOS game. No, I was a joke. I knew it wasn't a DOS game. Oh, I... <laughs> you've never told a joke before. It's the first time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not very good at them. Uh, we found Wolverine. That says Vivalin. No, we found Wolverine. I feel oh, like look, I'm better at, bandits. I feel like I'm better at reading made-up words than actual words. Probably because no one will correct you on a made-up yeah, word because they don't yeah, know shit about yeah, them. No one knows. I feel like we're just breezing through the world. <laughs> this is the easiest game of all time. <laughs> we probably got it on super easy, but you know what? We, that's how we do it. Actually, it could be on easy because I played it on easy. You fucking chicken shit motherfucker. Well, now. I was having so much trouble. I went to this... I remember I went to this vampire den. And oh, I just kept dying over yeah, and over again. Well, vampires are fucking tough. Yeah, and I was only like level one. Now, the city's over there. Uh, we're meant to do a little starting quest there, but I'm going to run away into the hills. Oh, so we're not doing uh, what we're meant to do? Well, you can do what you want. Okay, well, I did, and I'm still wearing fucking robes. <laughs> oh, god damn it. All right, I can't be able to change the robe. I've got ten minutes to make some quality content. I'm going to use it to walk down a road. And then the next te next episode is <laughs> going to be ten minutes of me. down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go talk to some civilian uh, and then kill him. That seems like a terrible idea. Let's find a farm. Uh, and murder everyone there. Actually, no, I'm going to go into this. I've been up here. There's little devils in there. Little devils? A little tiny devil, man. Oh, little imps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go check out Oh, look, a chest. chest. Oh, what's in it? I bet Lego. Wow. I was right. so correct. Oh, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> You're king of the beach. <laughs> beach. King of the beach. That's what they call me. Sand feet. Uh, <laughs> sand foot. <laughs> Fort Kalman. Uh, well... Look, there's leopards. Uh, those for deer. <laughs> Although Look. there are there are snow leopards in this game, I think. No, that was, that was GTA oh, 5. Fuck, come back. Don't fucking kill the fucking deer. Oh, no, I'm too slow to chase after it. Yeah, you got no legs, that's why. You're a floating corpse. I believe we made an amputee character. <laughs> that's a good choice, I think. Oh, fuck, this hammer is... It's the hammer of, hammer, of, hammer of death. A hammer of slowness, am I right? Oh my god, that was a good one. Did you write? I, yeah, no, I wrote that down yeah. earlier before we started. Yeah, no, I saw you taking some notes from after episodes. So. <laughs> well, I'm writing them on your wall in paint. Yeah, I know. Behind you your TV. Yeah. I'm only renting this place. I can't afford to... 
I like that you say that like it would be surprised like either of us could own a property <laughs> within the next 50 years we're making a lot of money from this content you know that oh that's true we talked about that in uh, one of our previous yeah, videos yeah we get four thousand dollars per person and we have four thousand subscribers yeah that's so uh, that's forty four thousand million dollars i was gonna say 44. that is the worst math well it's four and four and then four and four again i think it's forty four thousand that makes literally <laughs> no chance Ah, oh. <laughs> another chest. Oh, it's locked. Oh, you fucking. Oh, that's the first time I've fucked one of these up. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna put it out there. But you fucking suck. Um, visual gag. <laughs> the two is a real piece of shit. <laughs> Literal piece of shit. Yep. He is an anthropomorphic turd. You somehow brought me to life, and I am now commentating <laughs> that was a video the with worst you. Worst spell I've ever cast. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you do that? Of I fucking the magic stink. I've done. And then you decided to make me your friend as well. Yeah. You just, just and you really are. I'm not a good friend. I'm a no, terrible guy. You have all the qualities you would expect. I fucking roll around your house, just cover your house in shit. Yep. And then I killed your dog that time. I am not gonna get my lease bond back. Oh, your all. dog. It's dead. I killed oh, yeah, well, I, no, no. Toby. <laughs> Little Toby. Toby, there, your fucking the dog. Shih tzu. Yeah, dead now. Covered yep. in shit and Sue. Covered in Sue? Covered in shit and Sue. Shit Sue. Yeah. Schnitzel. Uh, visual gag. <laughs> I don't know if we should be making a podcast. <laughs> Where are oh, we? I don't have any silver weapons. What are we? That's a fucking ghost. Why are we in here? Uh, because I. We're covered in it. robes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the regular amount that a robe would cover, you know? Yeah. Did you kill him? Is I he did. dead? Now I'm gonna take his fucking ectoplasm. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> We're just grabbing all this shit. We don't even know what it does. Yeah, we're just doing a dungeon crawl, as they call them. They call them DJ. They call them Ho. They do. They call them Stacy. That's a song. That's not my name. That's not my name. It's a good song. Is it? Yep. Are you a big fan of the Ting Tings? Uh, you know, I listened to their first album, spat on it, threw it in the bin. What's the first album called? Uh, Ting Ting. The one. First album. Yeah. Super long title, but I, you know, I liked it. Is it? Oh, that whole thing that you just said yeah, is the title was, of the first album. Tons of commas in between it. I'm sorry, I thought you were just looking for clarification as to which album I was talking about. No, I knew you were talking about Ting Ting, the one, the first one, the album. That's a really good name. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm jealous I didn't take What's myself. your favourite Led Zeppelin album? Whew, probably uh, Riders on the Storm. Oh, yeah, that was a really good album. Good one. That was the one that was uh, just entirely Doors covers, right? No, it had nothing to do with the Doors. Oh, just a coincidence. Yeah, no. The <laughs> Doors were real pissed off because they had just released their single, Riders on the Storm, featuring Snoop Dogg. They released that as a 7-inch in 2006 from memory. Yeah, with Neves Being Underground too. Yeah, 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 good song. Yeah, and, uh, you know, after that, Led Zeppelin called up um, and said, you know what, um, we're going to steal the title of your song and put it as an album title. Hope you're cool with that. And uh, the lead singer of The Doors, um, um, James, Jim Morrison, um, called called back and left a voicemail, but they never got the voicemail saying, no, he can't use the song. And, and that's like one of those classic sort of moments in history where <laughs> everything just hinged on, you know, a voicemail message. Yeah, just because they, they didn't have a vo good voicemail set up on their cell phone. And, and that's why I tell everyone... Check your voicemail no, setup. No, definitely, yeah. No, people don't understand that sometimes if your voicemail isn't set up properly, you can't read, the, listen to the back to those messages. And, you know, situations like that are going to arise. Led and, Zeppelin might call yeah, you. Yeah, you know. Uh, true story. Oh, I mean, that's also a true story, yeah. but particularly true story. <laughs> I have the worst voicemail message in the world. Yeah, what's yours? Have you ever gotten through to mine before? If I feel like it's not that bad. You're, it's kind of just like, hey, it's just I'm me being Ben. Like, uh, hey, I missed your call. Yeah. It probably means I'm ignoring my calls. Is that is that what it is? It's just like something bizarre like that because yeah. I did it when I was like 17. Yep. And I've never gotten around to changing it. And like when I'm looking for jobs, they keep yeah. calling my yeah. number and being like, yeah, I tried to leave a voicemail, but your voicemail message was all weird. So when I first moved to Australia, I'm just gonna say that mine was worse than that okay <laughs> <laughs> um well basically i was a dickhead when i first moved here still a when i was like 18 very much still a dickhead just <laughs> like to make that very clear and um so uh, i decided like making my ring uh, my voicemail message would be hilarious if i just did this stupid thing and i was like i made it sound <laughs> like i answered the phone oh you did that old classic <laughs> thing where you say hey 
Yeah, what's up? <laughs> ah, Zach. I was like, I, but I said it. I said fucking like, all right, like English people do. Because at that time, I was really obsessed with fucking Marty Bush or something. And I fucking said all right all the time. Oh, then I thought like, I was fucking all cool. right as in how they say hello. Yeah, they all go, right, all right, all right, mate. And I was like, I thought that would be funny. <laughs> and then it's the rest of me. It's like, oh, I'm not here. Sorry. Yeah, um, yeah just uh, bloody fucking call me. And it's like me swearing and shit. <laughs> and then uh, during that time, I was trying to get jobs. And I swear to God, I didn't, that's the reason I didn't get a job. Because my fucking voicemail was so dumb. So another great lesson for everyone here. We're just really out life lessons today. Mainly um, about voicemail, though. Make sure that your voicemail is good if you've got a bad voicemail <laughs> now's the time to correct it all right well that's been 10 minutes yeah that's definitely been 10 minutes i'm just gonna fucking kill this wolf <laughs> uh i stole a horse yeah you took that horse and uh if this horse you explored a dungeon as well that was pretty cool yeah, god so... that was brutal as fuck you... oh stop it all right you kill the horse as well uh well thanks for another great <laughs> lesson lesson <laughs> thanks for another lesson of trash crab steve um join us next episode where james eats a poo in... and we have guest podcaster oh. weird al yankovic he's <laughs> he's gonna be here i'm getting hurt somehow okay bye <laughs>